So the left-hand one, you can see there's kind of your pre-impact position. The club is way out there. Yeah. The arms are away from your body there, okay? Yeah. We can kind of roughly see where your back of your glove is pointing up yeah. the sky. So by virtue of that, when your left hand is here, yeah. your right hand is kind of there. So it means your yeah. right palm is probably somewhere in that direction right now, okay. roughly speaking, yeah. okay? Your yeah. palm's kind of generally the back of your left hand and your palm and your right yeah. hand tend to go in the same direction, okay? So... That club at that position now is aiming right of target effectively yep. or okay. is open. So the ball now is going to curve that way, which is yep. causing your arms to get out here okay. to try and swing the golf club. Please somewhere go that way. Hit that shape of shot to get yep. the ball back to target. Yep. But you weaken off your shot really yep. massive percentage yep. coming off. Okay, exactly. So the feeling you've got to have now is this one on the right hand side. When you get up here, yep. the club now is going to fall down to yep. there. Now that club face I would say is just about okay yeah okay. you can see your right palm there is kind of in that direction so yeah. we're getting in a position and again the arms look a lot more kind of under the shoulders yeah so you practice this up the top yeah. and down okay now yeah. we will never get anywhere near that in the reality of a real swing when okay. you put speed to it okay but you yeah. feel that position to start with okay yeah. you do that two or three or four times before the shot Get that club face. I think I was doing that with the wrist. You can see the wrist yeah. change in there. See the difference yeah. in your hand there? Yeah. So that wrist position changes the club face. That would be seen as what we call an open club face. Yeah. That's going to cause the ball to go to the right or slice. That is going to square the club. And that's where the right forearm then. So your arms are doing this and controlling the club. You're not trying to do that at 90 mile an hour yeah. down yeah. the bottom of the golf ball. Yeah? yeah. It needs to happen sooner. So the yeah. quicker we can do it, yeah. the less time you then got to worry about coming down here to try and yeah. flash it. Okay. So when you do that there in terms of your practice, you do that three or four times and say, get the feeling of that backswing. Then when you set the golf ball, now we are just hitting it. We're not yeah. thinking about all this stuff. We're just making a full swing at the golf ball. Good turn the top of the bat. And again, as your arms come back down, yeah. your arms there, they look a little bit more into the body. Yeah? They're not quite so far away from yeah. you, okay? Yeah. They're a bit more in, yeah, yeah, which is good. So the club, when it comes back to the golf ball now, you can see the shaft is still staying. That's right left of the golf ball whereas this one over here if i clear all these lines off there your shaft now at that point is it actually the golf ball okay. yeah? so yeah, the arms yeah. have come down here yeah. bringing the club inside rather than look okay. throwing over the top yeah so that's it well, exactly a cat as they call it they? Yeah. so you're throwing the club there and then when you swing through what we want to see is a shape of shot a bit more right to left yeah yeah you don't want to be trying to square the club face up here at the last angle and flick it yeah yeah that's that's the recipe for, like, I tell you about for 25, 30 years playing golf. That way it's not going to be consistent. <laughs> when you're good, it'll be all right, but you'll hit one shot that's just, like, woefully bad. It'll be your own type of shot. Sometimes you might just yeah. go on the ground, you might top it or shank it or duff it, but there'll be one shot every 10 or 15, and it's like, oh, my God. But then you're only as good as that bad shot, yeah? If that bad yeah, shot absolutely. causes, like, a triple or a quad, you're like, oh, no, what's happening now? Yeah. And then the knock-on effect of that, yeah. the next shot will be affected and the one after that and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, because the whole hole's screwed. Yeah, exactly. So, work on that feeling of that club face. Be more aware of that right palm down, as we said. And then from there, you can use your hips to turn to the golf ball. I think what happened was you felt you had to try and turn it more because the club was here. You had to try and spin out the way, yeah. which, yeah, you might get a bit more kind of face closure, but then you're going to spin across the ball and cut it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It's very hard to do it that much anyway, so. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, brilliant. Excellent, good stuff. Well,